How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how we adjust a stud mount hydraulic roller rocker arm. My demonstration engine today is one of our Smetting 383 cubic inch extreme engine packages. This is our 450 horse 470 torque combo. And you can see this customer chose a really good looking Pontiac blue came out super nice. Really quick though, I just wanted to give y'all a quick rundown on how we adjust the rocker arms on this combo. You can use this method for any rocker arm combination, but today we're going to be focusing on a stud mount hydraulic roller engine. So whenever you're working on an engine, there's two things you need to figure out first. Is it hydraulic roller or is it a solid roller engine combination? If it's a hydraulic roller engine, we are going to be setting preload on the rocker. We will not have any lash. If it's a solid roller engine and the lifter is solid, there's no hydraulic plunger, then you will have lash. So a lot of times people will say, hey, I need to run the lash on my valve train, or hey, I checked my valve train and it has zero lash. Well, is it a hydraulic roller engine or is it a solid roller engine? If it's a hydraulic roller engine, you're right. It should not have any lash. It should be zero lash beyond actually and have preload. So. Really quick, I'm gonna make this very simple. We know this is a hydraulic roller engine, so we are going to be adding preload to the lifter, meaning we're gonna add and collapse the lifter just a little bit by tightening these rocker nut adjusters on top. Now, different lifters will have different preload amounts, so always consult the manufacturer of your lifters to find out how much preload they want to run. If it's a short travel lifter, you're gonna run very little preload, maybe only 30 thousandths. If it's a full travel standard lifter, like this engine, we're gonna run about 70 thousandths of preload. If for some reason you can't get a hold of the lifter manufacturer who built your lifters and the engine, a good rule of thumb is to run half preload of what the total plunger travel is. So if your plunger has a total travel of 200 thousandths, then run 100 thou of preload. If your plunger has 60 thou of travel, then run 30 thou preload. Okay, so for example, again, we're working on a small block Chevy, hydraulic roller combination. And we have our rocker arms here. And let's say we're gonna start by setting our exhaust valve here in the front of the engine. And you can tell it's the exhaust valve because it lines up with the exhaust port. This one's obviously the intake valve because it lines up with its intake runner on the motor. So to set the exhaust valve, we need to first position the exhaust lifter and push rod in the right orientation. Whenever you set a rocker arm up, whether it's solid or hydraulic, the lifter and the camshaft and the push rod need to be on the base circle of the camshaft, meaning zero lift. Zero lift, zero duration, the valve is completely closed. If you set your rocker arm up while the camshaft is trying to open the valve, meaning on the lobe, then your adjustment's gonna be thrown off completely. So how do we find out if the camshaft is on zero lift when we already have the intake installed on the engine? Well, we're actually gonna to go to the intake valve. There's a rule of thumb you can use. What I like to use is the ICE method, I-C-E. And basically that means when the intake starts to close, set your exhaust. So we're working on the exhaust valve first, and I'm just gonna roll this engine over until my intake valve starts to close. So put a finger on top of it. Let's start rocking the motor. I'm gonna roll it over until I feel it start to rise, meaning we're lifting. Okay, there it goes. And remember, I'm going to when the intake starts to close. So my intake is rising, it's rising. There's peak lift, I felt it stop rising. And now it's starting to close. So now that the intake is closing, the exhaust has to be on the base circle of its camshaft. This works for camshafts that are stock, that are small, that are huge, doesn't matter. When the intake is closing, set your exhaust. So now we're gonna take our poly lock adjuster and we can start to thread it down. And because this is a hydraulic roller engine, we want to slowly thread it down. What I like to do is grab the push rod and wiggle it up and down just a little bit. You don't wanna to go too much that you accidentally unseat the push rod from the lifter, but just a little up and down play, or you can grab the rocker arm and move it vertically up and down. And we're gonna do that while running this nut down 
until you feel that vertical lash start to go away. So right now there's very little, I can barely move it. And if I turn it a little bit more, I can feel almost like I'm hitting a wall. And that's when I have taken all of the vertical lash out of the lifter. Now, you don't wanna keep cranking this down because now I've taken all the preload out of the lifter. If I was to lock it down now, the preload is gone and I'm gonna hang the valve open and that can cause problems. So let's reset and do it again. I've got a little bit of vertical lash and I'm gonna run this down just with my fingers until all that lash is gone and I hit that light wall. Now at that point, we are ready to set our preload. I am using a 3.8 stud and with the lifters that are in our engines, they run best at one turn of preload. So now I'll turn this one rotation, run down the nut just with an Allen key, and I'll just give it a snug. Then using the wrench and the Allen, turn them together. They'll move about an eighth of a turn and you'll feel everything lock up, almost like a spark plug. You know how like when you tighten a spark plug, you can spin it with your wrench while you're tightening and then all of a sudden you hit that wall. This is the same feeling. Now that our exhaust valve is set, it is now time to set the intake valve. So remember, we used the ice, me ice method before. When the intake closes, set exhaust. Now we're gonna flip it. When the exhaust opens, set your intake. So let's roll the motor over. Let's watch our exhaust rocker. It's currently closed. And boom, it just started to open. At that point, my intake valve is ready to be set. And guys, you can use this method on any type of standard clockwise rotation V8 engine. Chevy, Chrysler, Ford, doesn't matter. So now we're gonna take our poly lock and we're gonna do the exact same process. We're gonna thread it onto our rocker arm stud, screw it down, give our push rod a little bit of wiggle, and we'll feel eventually, we'll feel that wall. And that's when we have taken all the vertical lash out of the rocker arm. Again, with our engines, I like to run them at one turn preload with this combination. If this engine had a 7 16 stud, or maybe we had a different type of lifter, then of course that preload would be different. So again, let me back up. I gave it the one turn rotation. I'm gonna screw this Allen key down, give it a little snug, and then lock it all together. And you'll feel it hit that wall. And at that point, you're done. Now, what you can actually do to check yourself is come down and look down, almost like you're looking down the barrel, and you'll see that all of the very tips of these poly locks should be the exact same height. If you come down here and look down, and you've got one that's a quarter inch tall, or one that's a quarter inch short, you know you should probably come back and double check that rocker arm. There will obviously be a little bit of variance. I've probably got 20 to 50 thou of height difference across the board, just due to a stack of tolerances. Maybe the threads were started at a different point inside these studs. Maybe the Allen key is a little bit taller or shorter, but it's a good quick way to check yourself and go, okay, yeah, these are all set correctly. I did my job right. Okay, there you go. It really is that simple. If you follow the ICE method, so if you wanna set your exhaust, watch the intake starts to close. Then you set your exhaust and then vice versa. When the exhaust starts to open, set your intake. Write that down, and if you go through the engine one by one, you will get all of them set up correctly and you'll be ready to go. Now, obviously, we run one turn on this engine combo. Our big block Chevys, our Fords, they use a 7 16th rocker stud, so they get a different preload amount. So consult your lifter manufacturer, look at your rocker arm studs, and then you can determine whether you want a quarter turn of preload all the way up to maybe one and a half turns of preload. Each engine combination is gonna be a little bit different, but if you use this method, then you will set all your valves correctly and you'll be ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I will see you next week.